rescue them and they do that for their country, they fight for the Philippines. They're shooting. They haven't slept in over 100 hours. Oh my god. Right now? Yes. So guys, welcome back to Happy Reactions, the channel where we react to the videos you guys recommend to us. So if you want to recommend the video, it's very simple. The only thing you gotta do is subscribe now to our channel, leave us a comment using the hashtag #MabuFreakingHi, or you can send us a message on Instagram at HappinessCrossing and give us a follow there, please. Oh, I'm excited for today's video. Me too. You? Oh my god. Today's video is going to be the part two, two of the Philippine Scout Best. Rangers yes. documentary. Best documentary. The best documentary. World's Best, best Special Forces. I would yeah, say we get right two. into it. I can't wait. So, Isa. Dalawa. Tatlo. Maximula Natayo. Ow. Helicopter training yeah. is on. Yeah. Helicopter training is there. Yeah. Kung tumalong ka ng isang bihis, paulit-ulit mo nang hanapin. And nagagat. If you wanna watch the part one of this video, we're gonna link up here. Nahan ka na sa big side kick ka na. One step further at 70 feet, the winds become harder to battle. The training is located near the mountainous area, so tendencies for the wind to blow from all directions, making it harder for the pilots to control the aircraft. Wow, that is so crazy. Oh my god. The maximum is 85 Next, feet. It's time for the big one. So said, one mistake during this 80 foot drop to prove fatal. Recruit 20 experiences trouble. He's unable to control his descent. <sighs> Quickly, an instructor hits the brake. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to understand what he says. Oh my god. 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 Tomorrow, the recruits will face their toughest challenge yet. Toughest, toughest. Seriously, remain in the fight to become an elite scout ranger. A lot of them remained, right? Today is the beginning of Hell Week. Hell Week. A culmination of everything they've learned put to the test. Death here again. For the next six days, there will be no uh, rest for them. We push the students to the edge, testing their stamina, confidence, psychological toughness. As the day goes by. The test will get tougher. Oh my god. If they fail one part, the recruits will be recycled to the next class or return to their mother unit. First up is land navigation. Oh, land wow. navigation is very important as a scout ranger. But scout rangers should never get lost in the jungle. If you, if you get lost, you won't be able to accomplish your mission. You will jeopardize your team. The stakes will be high in three months' time when these recruits face real enemies. They must prove they can lead the way. Each recruit is given a unique navigation route comprising of any five of these 24 targets. The chart contains a set of colors with different corresponding letters. They have to find their way point to point but no one route is the same for any of these 153 recruits. They have four hours to complete the test, and the course could see them covering over 12 kilometers. If a recruit returns late or does not complete his answer sheet correctly, he will fail. Recruit 8 has reached three of his five targets in under two hours. It's 170 degrees, and the distance is 1,200 meters from here. 
So basically, they know their way through the jungle. Yeah. They yeah. will never be lost yeah. without Google Maps no. or something like that. That it's everything in their head, yeah, and they're gonna crazy. navigate themselves to find themselves again. Wow! It's insane, right? Now on to his last this destination. <laughs> But the directions to this one aren't as straightforward. He is lost. And he's not the only one. Time is ticking down. If they don't get back in the next hour, they will fail. And they're a long way from home. Oh my God. Recruits are battling to become elite Philippine Scout Rangers. See? It's nice. Hell Week. It was so and they're to in the middle knives? of their navigation no. exam. Time is running out for Recruit 8, while some have already made it to the finish line. But the mistakes are numerous. Siguro, hindi nila na kukuha yung basic ba na dapat gawin. Kung paano kumuha ng reference, kung paano mag-plot ng kumpas sa mapa. One has run into bad luck. Recruit 205 claims he has been the victim of theft. A cow has eaten his test paper. <laughs> it's like oh my God, te it's like the teacher at school, I was like, Fernando, where's your homework? Yeah, my, my, my dog, dog ate it. Instead of a dog, you can say the cow. The instructors don't believe him. It's a nervous wait as they check out his story. My God. <laughs> really want to understand what they say. They can't verify his story, but they will give him the benefit of the doubt. Recruit 205 is given another chance at the test. Oh, wow, test. okay. Ah, oh, he says to do the test but again. But fail this time, and he will be out of the course. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Back in the field, Recruit 8 gets some help. <laughs> With just 50 minutes to go, his fifth and final station is done. Recruit 8 heads back to the training school to meet his comrades. Recruit 205 returns from his second consecutive test, just in the nick of time. It's the moment of truth. Let's see. But it's not good news. No. He's failed. Aww. As a recycled recruit, it is certain that his journey to be a scout ranger is over. Because he tried it once, he tried once, he failed, and that's the second time. So that's yeah. why he called recycled recruit. Yeah, yeah. And so now maybe, he's done. Maybe they had two, two times yeah, to I try it so. out. And then maybe. it's done. And you went so far, you know? At the end of the navigation day, 20 recruits have failed. 20? For recruit 35, it's a cruel end of the road. But the night is not over for those who remain. The recruits are not allowed to rest. They're kept up all night practicing martial arts. Oh, okay. This is not designed to make them experts at fist fighting, but to wear them down. 7 a.m. Another grueling day of testing begins. It's the water confidence exam. 
Recruits will complete the aptly named Slide for Life. But first, they need to successfully swim across this lake in uniform and combat boots, weighing down the body. Recruit 181 struggled with the earlier swimming tests. But this one is harder. The weaker swimmers panic. Oh, he's <laughs> It's Recruit 181's turn. Fail this, and, and he will be off the course. It's raining, I think, yeah. Despite teammates and instructors' support. Come on, you can do it! It's not it. his day. Recruit 181 will be recycled with 16 others who have failed the swim. Jan, alam ko talaga na hindi talaga ko papasagan. Wala na talaga ng lakas kasi nabi ko na ang araw ng ilang tulog. Pero before mag-open yung next class, practice muna ako ng langol. But his fellow failed comrades don't take the news so well. Wait till it is. Pakinamihan ka. Itong class na to, kasi mas kaya nung pilitin natin, pilitin natin, hindi man ang ganyan pa lang mga kapasa. Next, next class kayo mag-join. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. So, magpalot ng mga gamit nyo. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Good luck. Marino na yan, marino. Day four of Hell Week. 116 recruits remain in the Philippines Scout less Ranger and training less course. And less. Over 40% of the class have dropped out or failed in the last two months. <laughs> and with two more days of Hell Week, followed by a real operation against real insurgents, the road ahead is long. <laughs> Sara na maintindihan nila ang trabaho ko. Malakas pa rin ako. Kaya ko ito isurvive. Ranger! Ranger! 4 a.m. Recruits have to complete a 24-kilometer rucksack march. They haven't slept in over 100 hours. Oh my god. They didn't sleep. Not even a second of sleep. Like, oh no sleep god, no at rest. all. Nothing. That stuff is going to be six days in the hell week. Yeah, they have rest. I think they have like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes rest. Even worse, they will have to carry 35 kilograms of gear on their backs. Oh my god. 24 they march as a team, but it's an individual assessment. Recruit 8, it's as much a mental battle as physical pain. There's less than two hours left, but the strain of 35 kilograms is showing. Did the guy with the water made it now or not in the end? Because he no. got a second chance, right? Or not? No, no, no. He, he didn't got a second chance. He, they gonna, he, he can do it again, the whole thing. Not only yeah, the water, never. He's everything. gonna go to the recycle school. So he has to do everything, everything over again. again. Oh my yeah. god. I thought he can do it again, like a second no. time. Oh, that's poor. Money. The march comes to a halt. But these exhausted recruits don't know what's coming next. Oh, oh. what is coming next? It has all been a ruse. 
They're shooting. They're shooting. For the most feared test yet, escape and evasion is about to start. Escape and evasion is an exercise where students get a chance to feel what it's like being caught with the enemy. Is it real bullets? Yeah. Recruits will be held captive and treated as prisoners of war. <sighs> it's a reality. That so they get kidnapped. <sighs> they get kidnapped now. Could happen in just three months when they go into real battle. <laughs> Robbed of their vision, their binds are positioned to maximize pain. We don't do this to traumatize our recruits. We do this to uh, remind them to never get caught by the enemy because the enemy will uh, show no mercy on them and eventually they'll be killed. Scout Ranger recruits have endured nine weeks of physical hell, but nothing could have prepared them for this escape and evasion. For the next 17 hours, recruits will be subjected to various forms of torture. The aim is to make them fear capture. I have to quickly say that I think it's so insane and I respect these people so, so insanely much because they, so they do strong. that for their country the philippines they do that too you Protect know for example when fight. when a tourist or anyone else gets kidnapped Rebels, you know to go there and you know capture them and and rescue them and they do that for their country to fight for the philippines it's insane. and they go through the hell to to fight for the philippines that's just so it's beautiful i respect yeah, that so too. much Seriously. Wow. Torture? Yeah, that's what he said. Oh yeah? They're gonna torture the, them for them to fear. Like they're to actually be gonna torture them. Yeah, they're gonna oh go through a lot of God. tortures because they won't give them fear you cannot be caught. Because yeah, that's yeah, yeah, what's exactly. Happen, exactly. You know? and, and maybe to like accept if you get caught. Yeah. Like I need to be like trained to accept that you, you know get what be tortured. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like an amazing kaysa mahuli ka pa pero talaga sumasagi sa uta to isip mo na katagan ko talagang tumakbo wala na yata parang papatay na kayo eh pero pag doon pa lang ay nararanasan mo na ang sakit hindi ka na makapag-isip hindi ka hindi ka makasukot makasurvive doon to recruit too it's a brutal lesson in survival I think your loyalty to your country is really being tested you will realize or you will uh, give information to the enemy once you uh, experience pain. It's been 12 hours since the recruits were captured. What happens during this time is top secret. Oh my God. Top secret? What? They're not gonna show? the worst experience if not the worst experience of uh, my life my oh my four months of punishing training but it's not over yet recruits two and three are longtime friends they've had the rare experience of going through all their military training together the pressure here is very it's very heavy we come from different units so from the start we found it very hard to adjust your patience is being tested until you explode, you know, you, until you cannot uh, carry yourself anymore. 
as classmates, we really do our best in order to help each other to maintain our strength and to graduate the police and someday. For, for the months to come, I, I think that uh, my dependency on him will, will continue. I rely on him very much and if, if ever he will uh, not be around, it would really affect me uh, personally. Tonight, these two will lead the final platoon run, a test of teamwork and stamina. Next time they carry these 18 kilogram packs, it will be for their final test mission, a real battle. But some have additional burdens, like this MG60 machine gun. 20 kilos. 20 kilos. They have just two and a half hours to complete a 17 kilometer circuit in the dark. So, ang reason na bakit kinakandak ang platoon run sa gabi, uh, yung kagamitan ng ano, na hindi kaya pasukin ng mga military vehicle, yung mga area, so kailangan na uh, double time. Split into four platoons, they will be staggered at 10 minute intervals, one after another. As a team assessment, they must leave no one behind. If they do, every member of the platoon might fail the course. So, mababakdown pa lang siya, tutulungan na. Hindi yung, kung saan siya bakdown, doon nun na siya i-assist. They draw grass to see which platoon will go first. Ah! I just have grass. And they're off. Wow. Home of the Scout Ranger. We need to visit this place. Can you visit this I place? I don't know. It'd be nice. I would like, really be interested to see 60 minutes into the run. So far, so good. Yeah, because this is one of the last tests, right? So these yeah. people that are there right they now, are the they are like soldiers, like insane. Yeah. They went through so much. So they are insanely strong. And they are happy, see? They were like to the camera, like, hey. They must be really proud, you know? The first platoon arrives at the turning point, but some begin to slow down. Must be so exhausting. Strong, this guy. The platoons only have 30 minutes left to hit the finish line. Team spirit is vital in completing the run, and Recruit 3 has taken on additional weight. He's helping a friend, probably. Wow, he's helping. Yeah, he's helping another. Probably, and we, we, the other time we pass. Oh, it's a defining so nice. moment for Recruit 3. For me, as the platoon leader of 2nd Platoon, I think it's the very most, one of the most fulfilling, fulfilling events in my entire training. This is also a test for our platoon mates, for the integrity of our platoon. And as you can see, some of us were shouting because this is the last night that we will be carrying those heavy loads. It's a moment to celebrate. But not for long. Oh, that's they need to prove they have the combat skills to match. Soon, the recruits will face the ultimate challenge. A real test mission. Real enemies, real conflict. One they might not return from. Test mission is a must for the uh, members in order for them to graduate. That differentiates the ranger training from all other military training. 
they could face the Abu Sayyaf, the Abu moral Sayyaf. Islamic liberation, mm. and the new people's army. Battle-hardened insurgents. But Recruit 3 is not daunted. Every mission given to us, uh, we will accomplish them with uh, uh, great achievement. And He's here very in good Scotland, English. in training school, they're not just training uh, soldiers to become rangers, but rangers to become heroes. As Recruit 3 and his class head into real battle to gain membership into this elite club, the class ahead has just returned from their test mission. Oh. I have the honor to present to you two army officers, 85 army listed personnel, and two police non-commissioned officers who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of Scout Trader Corps. These 89 recruits have endured one of the longest 89. test missions in training history. We spent two months in the Eastern Mindanao. He looks Command. so young. Uh, five personnel, army personnel have abducted and we are tasked to rescue them. But one recruit didn't make it back. Accept also the soul of the class member who offered the ultimate sacrifice for this. Sobrang lungkot, tapos yung tao pa na halos nagkasabi ng problema, tapos yung taong pwede mo rin masabihan ng problema. Basta masakit din sa akin kasi halos naging parang kaparin ko na rin siya. One man died trying to earn this badge. But for those in this class that survived, by virtue of the authority vested in me That's as the so commander sad. of 1st Scout Ranger Regiment, these eight months of hardship have earned them the tobacco tab. Eight months? I thought it was six months. Yeah, I think it was six months. The students of Scout Ranger Force graduates effective today. Congratulations. After I think being tested under fire. I think it's eight uh, six months of training, and then the two months they go and send to a mission. Mm hmm. And I think they also learn probably when someone dies, for example, to not get too attached. attached That's yeah. like you need to Let keep going. Go, yeah. You can't, you know, sit there and cry. You know, you just keep strong. And that's they insane. now have the right Seriously. to call themselves wow. Scout Rangers. That's the end of the documentary. Oh, that Guys, is that was one of the most insane videos about the Philippines that I ever watched. Life changing. I think that was seriously wow. life changing. I'm really, really grateful that we were able to watch this this documentary because that was insane, honestly. Someone waved us. <laughs> <laughs> that was just insane. It's uh, how strong, how they start, and how strong they start getting it through this process you know like they're getting stronger and stronger and stronger and every time. And they were already soldiers so they were already super trained and super tough and yeah. super strong and but to become a scout ranger that's another level. That's another level. Now, but the next time that we go to the Philippines and if I see a scout ranger my respect is gonna oh, be I'm gonna go there and be like huge. I salute you seriously. Seriously you guys down, deserve you know? if any scout ranger is watching us right now thank you so much for doing this for your country. You you wow. are just amazing. Yeah. Guys, let's dive straight into the two, two comments, comments of the day. day. <laughs> First comment of the day came from Kimberly Nalaunan. Mabuhai, wonderful couple from the city of Davao. I've been watching you and I love you both for loving my beautiful country and Filipinos. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts about us oh. and learning our culture. <laughs> Thank Mara you so much. Mara Ming Salamat is a pleasure. Comment. We Thank love you. doing videos about this beautiful country. And the next comment came from Jayco Salvador. Hi Vanessa Fernando, I'm Early Haha. Ha. I love watching your reaction videos. Stay safe, both of you guys watching from here from the Philippines. Thank Hashtag you. Mabu freaking high. Guys, if you enjoyed this video as much as we did, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. And, and we'll see, see you guys in, in the, the next, next one. one. And Mabu freaking high. Palam. Like we're only talking, talking Going round and around, back around I will fight like no other